time when the comes shine, you can't really mess up. You have no room for error. So you're two, you're two points away now, time out at this point, right? So, Caroline, what, at this point, what do you think, what was Ms. Kluge saying, if you remember? And, um, you know, you're only two points away, what do you have to do? And you're in this, at this point, you come in at the time out. He's probably saying just, like, don't give up, and when you're close, so keep going, right? So she's doing it, that's why they're probably pushing it out, so now you're focused on the two day, push it out the last two points. <laughs> Your eyes full heart. Yeah, your eyes. Is that still your mind open your eyes full heart? Can't look at your mind open? Yeah. I think so. It's going to be good. Keep them sweet. So now one point away. Kendra, what do you, at this point, you're one point away from winning another Brooklyn Queen championship, dominating the Brooklyn Queen. What, what are you thinking at this point? My finger? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you must know, came from me. Finger on the game, we know already. Now, it's much easier to enjoy it then. Now, here's Caroline Long on the screen, about to serve. One point away. I was so stupid. Please don't. That's what I have. That's what I have. That's so now what memories are being brought back right now as you're still right on the court back in about a second? You fell again? Yeah, yeah. You fell. What do you want to talk to me? I don't know what's going on. All I can think of was I have to get out of this. Okay. So really a big one. What, what were your emotions though after this game when you went home? Tech down, what were you thinking about this? Uh, I was just so happy. I wasn't happy. I was like, it's over. So you basically didn't expect you to win. No. I was like, there's no more stress. You never expect me to win. Right. Alright, so they obviously won November 2nd, five time Rainbow Brooklyn League champions. We're gonna talk to them in a second. Okay, I'm back with the same group here. Kelly Flynn, Kaylin Sly, Tony Ricky Tanara, Caroline Malone, and Kendra McCallum. After such a great season, you won your fifth straight title. What is your mindset going into this season? How tough is it, how tough is it to repeat, anyone? It's not really about how tough it is to repeat. It's like how tough it is to keep yourself and everybody up there ready to go for another long after. Right, and now practices I've heard have been very well I heard something about this P90X program. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> We do jump training and um, lifting. Mm -hmm. yeah. What, what does that entail, Alan? What does it entail? Like, the P90X program. Squatting. Yeah. Plus squatting. Squatting. Like, um, workouts. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now. Not even. Five titles. Some of you have been on the team. Not all of you have been on the team for a couple of the titles. Um, Kendra, what is your physical uh, ability right now? After all, all those games that you played on the hard court, um, what are you trying to do this season to stay physically healthy and be able to dominate again in the league? Yeah, like, no, as far as, you know, <laughs> just maintaining your trying to prevent injury. Oh, uh, only, yeah. not me, but some of those with ankle, ankle breaks, <clears throat> oh, yeah, just foot. Actually, it's only the equipment that we really wear. Right. Ankle breaks, you got this. Waddle is like, you know, that once you get feet, sometimes your shoulders, your knees. Yeah. Right, Kelly, you yeah. mentioned that you've been banged up, especially during mm -hmm. that championship game. What are you trying to do this season to maybe prevent some of those issues? Well, they're not really preventable. It's like they happen, but right. you just have to get through them. Okay, now, Caitlin, your experience on the varsity level, what are you trying to accomplish this year as a team? Probably winning again another championship. Do you think it's feasible to be able to um, 
win every single game in the regular season. Lost to Team United last year, um, and before that, he had a streak going of regular season consecutive wins. What do you, do you think that's feasible, Char? Uh, it'll be hard, but like it's possible. With all of that, we just keep focused, push ourselves. It's possible, but it'll be hard. Caroline, what are you hearing about the league right now? Um, is the league very difficult uh, to compete in again? Um, and if so, now last year uh, at the States, it was a difficult time there. Actually came pretty close. Uh, what are you looking towards this year against all New York State? Well, hopefully we can win both of these championships and then go to the States and hopefully go really far there and maybe even win. Okay, and Kendra, any last thoughts on this team as a whole? Um, obviously, it's still very good experience. Of course. Um, I don't know if it's because we're seniors now, but we have people that really like this team. I don't think it's because we're seniors, it's because it's cool people. We've been with each other for so long. Yeah, we're all best in that group. We're all best in that So great call out. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 And so there you have it, they're a family. We're going to get a new group in. In a second, thanks again for joining us, Kelly Flynn, Kaylin Slight, Joy Ruby De Niro, Caroline Malone, and Kendra McCallum. Okay, Katie Shields, Stephanie Sokolich, Jacqueline LaForgia, and Caroline Barecki joining us right now. And we're going to talk about, obviously we have two inexperienced players on varsity, both of you played on JV, and Jacqueline and Caroline were on varsity last year. Let's talk to you guys first. Katie, what are your expectations on varsity? And you know what are you looking to do um, with well, this team? Obviously, I want to improve and get better and watch everyone grow as a team and do good in this season. What about you, Stephanie? I feel like we have a lot of potential now that we've done, and I feel like we can go really far. And I can learn from all of them because they're really good too. Okay, Jacqueline, mix of these two younger players, mostly an experienced team. What are you? Uh, what, how is your camaraderie going? Obviously, they mentioned before. That the camaraderie of the team is excellent. How are the younger players, for example? Um, I feel like they're excellent great. It's like the like missing pieces to the puzzle. Really? Um, yeah. Caroline, so what are the missing pieces to the puzzle, so to speak? <laughs> As of great. from last year, you won the championship still, Brooklyn Queens. What do you think you could make better this year? I feel like we have a lot more stronger <laughs> players and there's more potential in the team. Okay, and. <laughs> What, have you developed your sense of what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are? Practicing with this team for a couple of weeks now. Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> you, uh, you, you have a sense of... You, if, can you expand on that if you can? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm like a small... <laughs> so Playing with girls that have a lot of experience, right. like, it's, it makes your weaknesses come out more, but I feel like playing with that thing helps like grow and get better. Okay. Um, Jacqueline, you won the championship last year, you missed out on the states. So what after you lost in the state championship, mm -hmm. what were your feelings going into the year? Um okay. okay, Carolina to lose in the states. Going into this year, what was your mindset to lose in those states right afterwards, going into this year, and maybe Coach Gallucci told you some words after that? Um well we want to work harder, obviously, and we want to work harder than we did. We worked really hard last year, but we want to like, push ourselves even more so we can actually win this year. Okay. Now, you guys, after a long summer, going into this year, obviously it's tough just coming back to school. And you guys came in in August and started practicing. You two, first time of our state. Um, what, how was the transition coming in from the summer to a lot more work goes in now, like we push ourselves even more than we did on JV, and it helps us get better. Is it different from JV? What are the differences from JV and Marcy? Well, he does these things called two-a-days, and we go in early, and he like, puts us through this intensive workout designed to um, like strengthen and build ourselves up. Yeah, and, and then, then we have practice after, and JV only has the practice in between, so we like a little rough. Part of this year we have two practices. So you have Jacqueline, you can answer this too. Have two practices, and the first one is just strength and conditioning, mm -hmm. and then the second one is more focused on game situations. Exactly. Those are in preseason, though. Those are in preseason. So when it comes to the game, what are you more focused on during the actual season? We focus on the like, gameplay. 
teamwork. Yeah, like team, more team-oriented drills. Okay. So, obviously, this team ready to go. They're going to open up against Mary Lewis today. Thanks again, Katie Shields and uh, yes. Stephanie Sokolich, Jacqueline LaForgia, and Caroline Garagni. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this team in a little bit. So this is great catching up with the girls on the volleyball team. Their energy just brings forth so much going into this season. And obviously that energy that they bring forth on the court is unlike any other team in the league. So mostly seniors that I had here, two juniors, Katie Shields and Stephanie Sokolich, all really excited to be on varsity this year. And they're going to play a big game on opening day here on SFP TV Sports. I'll have the call for you. And all season long, St. Francis Prep Lady Volleyball season starting next on SFP TV Sports. Welcome to SFP TV Sports for another season. It's the beginning of the year, and what that means is it's fall and the time for school again. And with that brings the ladies volleyball season. And here on SFP TV Sports in the fall, we're going to cover the ladies volleyball team here at St. Francis Preparatory School. I'm Yulia Caruso, the voice of St. Francis Prep. I'll have the call for you each game during the volleyball season and then as we move on throughout the year as basketball season. Caught up with some of these players earlier and we'll talk about that and show the interviews as I talk to several of these varsity players about this upcoming year and also rehashing last year when they were. I would have gotten it, I just didn't. Sorry. I kicked it. No. I got a, yo, I got a citation. I got a no, no, no.
Well, give me a slice of pizza. take that down. I need something to look at. My new gig. Make sure you talk. Mary Lewis.
Wrecked it at St. Francis Prep from the Mary Lewis side, but after St. Francis Prep, it's just another game for them to win. And St. Francis Prep has had a streak of winning regular season games as well as in the playoffs. That snapped last year as they lost on senior night against Archbishop Malloy, and then they won in the championship game here at the Prep. We had the game on November 2nd, 2011, as they defeated the Sanders in five sets. So a very good game against Another rival, and today they play Mary Lewis, who Mary Lewis has given them some problems in the past. I mean, Mary Lewis has given them problems, but I mean, usually in the end, it always ends out the same way with St. Francis Prep winning. Real, usually every year, the only two teams that are really the powerhouses in the girls' volleyball are St. Francis Prep and Archbishop Malloy, and I really don't expect that to change anytime soon. And so the Terriers are very strong in this league winning five championships in a row. Now, will that continue? I don't know. They're still very experienced, and but still some younger players on this team, and we got to see how they're going to step up this season. I mean, it's all about stepping up. If they don't step up, they're not going to win games. But, I mean, as a guy who's watched this team for the past three years and has been around them through the men's practices and women's practices, I'm sure that they will come together because I know that each and every one of them is an extremely well-valuable player. So we're going to get to the action. Game's about to start in a few minutes. Both teams lined up, and they're going to shake hands. So let's get to the action. Neil Caruso and Chris Freitag with you here at St. Francis Prep.
Okay, so the teams shake hands, and today the home opener for the Lady Terriers, and they're in royal blue with the Mary Lewis Academy Hilltoppers in their baby blue uniforms. Baby blue, very nice color. <laughs> so Lady Terriers still very experienced. They bring back Kelly Flynn, number 39, who has been a powerhouse on this team, a real integral part of last year's team, along with Talia Colasanti, who graduated last year. And also, along with Kelly Flynn, some juniors, Johar Rivadinera, who, who will contribute a lot to this team, contributed a lot last year. And also, Stephanie Sokolich is supposed to take on a bigger role this season. Yep. After the game, you should apologize to Johari for butchering her name like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, Kelly's uh, sick. I mean, there's nothing else to say about that. I mean, the way she plays is unreal. She's better than most of the boys in the league, much less the girls in her league. I mean, <laughs> you put me up there and she'll smoke me every single time. And I'm that, I don't say that much about anyone, much less uh, someone else. So the Lady Terriers again, royal blue, and they're on our near side. And baby blue, the Mary Lewis County Hilltoppers on the other side. The libero to start is Caroline Malone, number 37. And she also taking on a bigger role this season. A little chest bump with Jacqueline LaForgia. And Caroline Malone is last season during the championship game, played a very big role. And this season, she's going to step into that and definitely expected to play most of the minutes this season. Well, yeah. I mean, you're a senior, and it's your senior year. you got to step up. Whether it's volleyball, whether it's basketball, whether it's football, no matter what sport it is, this is your senior year. This is your time. This is where you have to step up. If you don't step up, then you're just another person on the team. So the home opener about to start. Neil A. Crusoe with you with the play-by-play, -play and Chris Freitag of the men's volleyball and men's basketball team next to me doing the color commenting. To start, Johari Riva Dinera is out, and the Hilltoppers get the first point. It's Kelly Flynn on the floor with Johari Riva Dinera, Jacqueline LaForgia, Caroline Malone, Kiara Pierre, and Kendra McCalla for the Lady Terriers. Here's Riva Dinera, and she gets the first kill of the game and the first point for the Lady Terriers. Before the game, Johari told me she was dedicating this game for me, so I take full credit for what just <laughs> happened on the court. Oh, all, all right. Taking full credit there. A, a very big crowd on hand for this ladies volleyball matchup. Love the crowd. I love our fans. Kendra McCalla, the serve and the ace. That serve is too real. And her second serve gets over. Here's the attack by the Hilltoppers. And right on the line, that'll be the point for the Mary Lewis Academy. I feel bad I was going to get that ball, but then I just decided not to. But, uh, you know, that was a nice hit. It dropped very, very well. It, what fooled everybody on this side is they all thought it was going out, but she had a nice spin on the ball, letting it drop. Set by McCalla, and there is Kelly Flynn. It's dug out, and that'll sail out of bounds. Lady Terriers up 3-2 to two here in this first set. Remember how I said that one before it dropped? That one didn't, and that one was not nice. A girl Johari about to serve. And the jump serve. Beautiful. Gets over the net. Riva Danera, the bump. Now McCalla and Caroline Malone into the net. And side at three in the first set. See, the thing about volleyball is you gotta get it over the net. Because if you don't get it over the net, you lose a point. Caroline Malone with good hustle and the bump going out of bounds. And the thing about Malone is her hustle on the court really defines who she is as a player. Well, volleyball is a game of hustle. I mean, the fact of the matter is you can't really 
you're going to lose points and you're going to score points. That's a foregone conclusion. But hustling and the reaction it gives to your team and just the momentum it gives you changes the whole game by itself. It's much more valuable than just scoring points and whatnot. When you have the momentum on your side, you basically have already won the game. As Kelly Flint serves, and I'm going to expand on that as that goes into net, Lady Terrier's point. I'm going to expand on that. The momentum plays such a huge role in volleyball, and you'll notice it during this game alone. You'll notice it over the course of the season. When a team is on a roll, so to speak, and they have momentum on their side, it makes it so much easier for a team to win. Yeah, that's I have no problem with what you just said. 100% approved. When you're when you're playing and you have momentum on your side, what is what are you thinking mentally, and what will Coach Kevin Colucci discuss with you in the huddle? Uh, well, Mr. Colucci is usually telling me to calm down because I'm a very animated person on the court, and I, I like to voice how I feel at every single moment, regardless of whether it is the time not or time not to. And I mean. Usually during a momentum, you just want to keep doing what you're doing. You're at, your confidence is at its peak. You can't really get any higher. So you just keep doing what you're doing. You know you are the best at what you do at that moment, and you roll with it. And here Kelly Flint serves. Jacqueline LaForgia got the last kill for the Lady Terriers. And LaForgia also playing a bigger role this season. Yeah. And she's only a junior. No, it's funny is that I thought she was seen her son before the game, but she is very excited. She played as a sophomore last season and now hopping into a bigger role. Very good friends with Caroline Vallone as well. So the two pair up as they're on the court and here Kiara Pierre will serve. It said that on the stat sheet that they were very good friends. It said on the stat sheet that they were very good friends. No, actually Jacqueline told me that very good friends with Caroline and they get along very well and um and you can kind of see, you know when, like even when you're on the court, I could see as Gorecki will get the kill for the Lady Terriers. She played that to perfection, man. As she soon did. as she saw that popping up, that was a beautiful tip. Perf perfect perfect tip. timing on her part. But I can notice, like when you're playing and you're when you're close to the player, and whether it be in basketball or volleyball, you tend to trust that person more with your sets, and uh, you know, bumping to them, getting your digs, you trust that they're gonna be there. Oh yeah, yeah. Your team is your family. And if you don't trust every single person on your team, it's not gonna work, whatever right. sport it is. For example, basketball right now. Alex Amenta hurt his back. Right. Pulled something, a vertebrae or whatever. Right now he's in physical therapy. The main concern of every one of us basketball players is that Alex gets better. So Alex, we hope you get better if you're watching. Kudos to you, but back to volleyball. As a timeout taken by the Hilltoppers, the Lady Terriers lead 10 to five in the first set. You know, right now, the Hilltoppers trying to stop momentum and St. Francis Prep just coming out very strong to start. Oh yeah, the St. Francis Prep always start, ha, starts out strong and they end strong, that's why they win so many games. And in the huddle, head coach Kevin Colucci talking to them and Coach Colucci works with these players all year round and it's you know, it really works with these players one-on-one -on -one and each of them gain the opportunity to play. And right now you can see the starters are shining at this point. Why change anything? Yeah, uh, Mr. C is a great coach. I mean, him winning year in, year in and year out is a testament to that, whether it be on the JV level or the varsity level. Mr. Colucci is one of the best coaches in New York State, not just a city. And it's no surprise that his teams win. As Caroline Gorecki with a monstrous kill and that'll give the Lady Terriers a six point lead in the first set. Gorecki with perfect timing up at the net. Yep. Kiara Pierre to serve. The jump serve is placed perfectly and she gets an ace for the Lady Terriers. Nothing better than an ace. I would know, I do it all the time. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should go, go back in the uh, the records and check that. <laughs> Maybe you should go back in the records and check that. As a freshman, I was playing on varsity volleyball because I was coming in to serve for people because my serve was that good. Oh, that's true. So, I mean, maybe you'd like to check your information <laughs> before you try and come at me next time, bro. <laughs> As 
Hilltoppers right now. The Hilltoppers are serving. Everyone knows I love Neely Caruso. <laughs> Neely Caruso is a very good friend of mine. So anything right, we Chris. say here is in jest. As Jacqueline LaForgia will it's all right. go out of bounds. She didn't, she didn't oh. get on top of it. No, she didn't. And uh, But still a 10-point lead for the Lane Terriers. Chris Freite working alongside me on the men's volleyball team. And hope you're with me all season long. And then obviously hope play again in the spring. And you got baseball coming up. How's conditioning going? Um, conditioning has not officially started, but as for... Uh, I figured as a senior, it would be better to talk to some of the younger guys regardless. Because I've been playing basketball all year, summer. I'm in pretty good shape as is, not to do my own horn. But I'm more into helping the younger guys get in the shape because everyone, it's a program. Right. I mean, it's, it's extremely awesome to have 14 guys running around the block every day and then going up to the weight room to work out. It just lets you know that people actually do care and really want to get better. And you're not going to get better at basketball unless you want to get better at basketball. Oh, struggling on the bump. And that goes into the Lady Terriers bench. And now the Hilltoppers serve. Valone, good bump to Pierre, and there's LaForgia. And that is called out as well. So Jacqueline LaForgia not getting on top of the ball. Speaking of Hilltopper, I briefly worked as a Hilltopper for a while. Did you know that, Neil? No, I didn't. Tell no. me that story. <laughs> well, you know, uh, there wasn't much to it. I just kind of sat on top of hills. <laughs> Funny guy here as... That one sails out as well. And Lady Terriers struggling a little as of late. Their lead is cut to three as the Hilltoppers continue to serve. Oh. Valone's bump seems like just quite a little bit too much up on her arm. And there Valone bumps. Riva Denera and they collide as the ball will not make it over the net. If and you realize on that play, bad communication. No talking. Right. Volleyball is a game of talking. If you don't talk, you're going to have problems, and that is exactly what's happening to St. Francis Prep. Right it now. seemed like Valone and LaForgia were just waiting for things to happen as Gorecki with her third kill. Get her the ball. Exactly, and she is a hot hand right now. I don't know if her hand's hot, but she's doing very <laughs> well right now. Yes, Neil. LaForgia with the surf. Good dig. Now here is Riva Denera. Just didn't get up enough on that one. It's okay though, she'll do better. She's getting, dedicating the game to me. Of course she'll do better. Now the thing, about this, hashtag, hey, the game <laughs> You cracked me up, Chris. <laughs> I know that was a late reaction as that goes out of bounds. And Caroline Malone will come out me. for the first time. And she'll be replaced by number 26, Cairo Otero, will come in to serve. That's the great thing about this team. They have so much depth. I mean, they, they can do. just out depth other teams. I don't know if that's a word, out depthing <laughs> someone, but. If, the, if it is a word, St. Francis Prep does it. Now, not only that, their depth is very key to this team. And they really end it onto the bench. And if you look at their bench, their juniors, you got Katie Shields, you got Stephanie Sokolich. Um, you got a good amount of players. You got a couple sophomores on this team that could really back up in case of an injury or, you know, in case this goes into five sets as Kelly Flynn does what she does best getting the kill. You know, you need backup because it goes into five sets you get fatigued very easily in the sport. Yeah, I mean St. Francis Prep is the equivalent of Christ the King in basketball. Girls who are really good at volleyball yeah. want to come to St. Francis Prep because St. Francis Prep is so good. Are you thirsty Johari? <laughs> get that water. Drink up. Here Johari Reeves <laughs> gets a drink and a timeout called. Five point lead for the Lee Terriers. They Extend their lead a little bit more, but 
you know, they're not, haven't really dominated this first set as much as they'd like to, because, you know, it seems like this team, they're so used to winning, they like to just come out and dominate every single point. I mean, in years past, that's what they did, but at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is getting the W. And right oh, now, St. Francis Prep is in a very good decision to get a win, and I don't think they really care how they do it, just obtaining that win is the most important thing right now. It's like in Candyland. If you get stuck in the mud, but you still manage to win, you don't really care. <laughs> Candyland, Chris, all right. As that'll go out and the Lady Terriers up 19 to 13 in the first set. Lady Terriers played on September 13th, their opener against the Futbon Hall Academy and they beat them in five sets, which I took to Caitlin Slyke in drama class and um, Asked her about the game the day after, and she looked a little disappointed that they went to five sets. And that's the thing about this team is that they're expecting, you know, to win day in and day out in three, you know, maybe four sets. But against a team like the Bonnies, they were hoping to defeat them in three and head home for Brooklyn. I mean, listen, no matter what the sport is, whether you're good or whether you're bad, you walk out onto the court with the idea that I am, that we are the best in this league at what we do. If you don't walk onto the court with that attitude, you're obviously going to lose. So, yes, you do want to win the game as quick as possible to show that you are that much better than the other team. You want to make a statement every time you go out on the floor. Kelly Flynn deflects that off of the net. The Hilltoppers deliver it over. Now set to Riva Dinero. She's blocked, and the Lady Terriers keep it alive. Kelly Flynn gets the bump over. This crowd is into it and the Lady Terriers get their 20th point. A chaotic play on the floor, and somehow the Lady Terriers keep it alive, and they're up five points. It's all about heart. If you don't have heart, you don't make that play. And the Lady Terriers looking good at this point. Kelly Flynn sets. The thing about this team, they are composed, and that's how I describe them. In and on and off the court, they are a composed team. And they are the Hilltoppers. Answer back a four point game in the first. Yep. <laughs> By the way, when are you gonna shave that beard? <laughs> when am I gonna shave this beard? I. A lot of people like the beard, including the ladies. My no. mother doesn't like the beard though. My mother no. is very angry with me for this beard. But I like you making did have my it going angry. in the summer. I did, I did. <laughs> Johari Riva De Niro with an ace. And the Lady Terriers up 22 to 16. Making it rain, making it rain. Boom. And just a bad judgment by the Hilltoppers there. I don't know what was going through her head. She was hoping to set that. She's going to be thinking speed. about that play tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That'll leave a mark, too, as the score 23 to 16. Oh. And they will give the Lady Terriers the point right on the line. Riva Dinero looking good from behind the back line. When you're too real, you're too real. That's the fact of the matter. And right now, Jahari is too real. The back row attack. And, and right as no. I say that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of jinx oh that there, Chris. The kiss of death. Hilltopper serve. Otero. McCalla to Pierre, whistle blown. It's a double touch called on the Lady Terriers. Such a hard call to make. I mean, I know these referees are out here. They're very good at what they do, but that's such a tough call to make in every situation. Well, refereeing is never easy. You never hear praise from either team. You're never going to be happy no. if, you, if you're playing with a referee. Jacqueline LaForgia with a beautiful spike, and she'll set, double set. Pierre will tap it, it over, and that'll clinch the first set. So the Lady Terriers win the first set 25 to 18 showing their dominance 
over the Hilltoppers of the Mary Lewis Academy. Pocket presence. Both teams will switch sides. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Chris and I will talk about the first set and we'll head on to the second. The Lady Terriers win the first here in Fresh Meadows, New York. Do -do 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 -do. St. Francis Prep, it's Jacqueline LaForge and Caroline Gorecki with three kills, and Jari Riva Denera and Caroline Ballone with three digs each. So right now, St. Francis Prep, they won the first set 25 to 18. Both teams talking it over, and it looks like St. Francis Prep just showed their dominance there, and the Hilltoppers made some very clear mistakes. Yeah, that's why they lost. And so going into the second set, both teams Switch sides. That's usually what they do after each shot. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. You have to realize, it gets very lonely here at the table. and All I have is my it buddy does? Neil with me. <laughs> all I have is my buddy yeah, Neil with me. I was going to say, why is it so lonely? But, Obviously, um, you're my pride and joy, Neil. <laughs> you are my pride and my joy. What can I all say? Right. I don't know if you want to say that on the air because, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what? Are you intimidated? Yeah, I am, actually. No, uh, but the Lady Terriers do look very good. They're going into the second set. And, you know, the Mary Lewis Academy, as far as volleyball goes, you know, they're a rival for us, but haven't really dominated the league like St. Francis Prep. It's usually St. Francis Prep and Archbishop Malloy at the top of the Brooklyn Queens. And the Lady Terriers trying to keep it that way. Everyone's rivals with St. Francis Prep because St. Francis yeah. Prep always wins. So, I mean, well, definitely that's how true. it's going to be. And this is one of the sports that St. Francis Prep just dominates in, like they do on the soccer field and baseball. And the whole topper is yep. trying to answer back here in this second set. I can only imagine what they were told in between sets. Definitely. Probably to win. Well, yeah, but also um, a lot of mistakes, just stuff that you can't even coach because, I mean, you go over stuff like that in practice. As Kelly Flynn with the kill, go over that kind of stuff in practice. Then when it comes in the game, whatever you're more comfortable doing, you end up doing the wrong technique, and that tends to bite you in the butt a little bit. I'm a firm believer in the coaches can do everything they can except go out on the court and actually play for them. I mean, And I totally agree with you, yeah. The kids have to do what the kids have to do. That was in. Oh, oh yeah, that was on the line. Clearly, oh. we saw that. Where's the instant replay? Yeah, we should uh, we should have some like NFL review going. Did it, it, did it, it, not <laughs> top play. <laughs> and that time, uh, not top playing on the refs. And here, the whole topper serve. Looking good. Hold Topper's on the offense, and that 
goes out, and Lee Turner's up 3-2 so far in the second set. My favorite numbers are three and two. Are they? I'm kidding. All right. Steven Reed. Steven Reed Steven is in Reed. the house. Steven Reed, who graduated Steven from St. Francis Prep, was a big force on the St. Francis Prep volleyball team, the men's, of course, and he played alongside you. Yup. We were a good looking team, what can I say? <laughs> I don't know about that. You can ask all the girls if you want to really believe me. I mean, that's the fact of the matter. <laughs> I you know, I, I hear, lot. um, no, I'm not even gonna go there. There's late Terriers on the attack. It's time at three in the first set. The Hilltoppers trying to answer back. Caroline Valone with the dig. And here, Jacqueline LaForgia, they call that out, and that was out by a hair on the sideline. In front of our buddy, Chris Pertab. Yep, right in front of Chris Pertab and Tom Takachowski. <laughs> oh, really I hope you mispronounced that on purpose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, Takachowski right. is a very good friend of mine. Or uh, Taka Flocka. Yeah. Taka Flocka. There's a, there's a couple <laughs> of nicknames we call them. Some of them we can't say. <laughs> That's true. As the Hilltoppers blocked by Gorecki. Gorecki and LaForgia down at the net. LaForgia has had a great start oh. to our season. As that'll be the Lady Terriers point. She was so close to digging it, yet so very, very far. You know, at this point, you could you could see where they left their holes from last season. Obviously, last season with Talia Colasanti, she was a huge force at the net. Allison Petito was their mean person in the middle to get the dig. She was all over the floor. Um, and you can see those holes in there, but you can see who's trying to replace them. Caroline Gorecki playing very well at the net along with Kelly Flynn, who we knew was gonna be there. And Caroline Malone trying to basically play where Allison Petito was. Yeah, Allison was awesome. I mean, I have nothing but love in my heart for Allison Petito as a volleyball player well, and as a person. Yeah, Allison uh, was very, very keen to this team, also a captain. And just on that last play, Elaine Pereira just Again, you know, it's the second time looking to set that, and it's just a wrong play. She's got to go for the bump. Now Pereira just mishits that, and then it'll go towards the crowd. Pereira having a poor day so far. Yeah. When you're off, you're off. There's nothing that really can fix it. You got to get out of the funk. Pierre put that in play off of the serve. Good up. Set McCallum. Good push. And Jacqueline LaForgia with a, another kill. LaForgia. You know it's a, a good play force. if Chris Michael Pertam's happy over in the crowd. <laughs> That's how you know. That's true as the Lady Terrier is up 8-4. to four. We're going to take a quick break here on SFP TV Sports. Hi, I'm Neil A. Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queen's Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS, supermarkets, and the Blue Bay Nine. Look for your picture and stories about us here at the Prep. Visit the Queen's Courier at www.queenscourier.com or see their digital edition. If you want a bargain, check out their Deal of the Day specials. We're still on? Okay, back here at St. Francis Prep, this serve, and the Hilltoppers having a little trouble on their side of the net. And Kendra McCalla putting that perfect positioning. Sometimes you don't need all that power, but she just places it in perfect position when the Hilltoppers aren't. Hey, I mean, right now, the Hilltoppers are having trouble playing the ball, whether it be an easy ball or a hard ball, so all St. Francis Prep has to do is serve the ball over the net. And odds are they're going to get a point just like that. I mean, if you can't put the ball over the net, you're not going to do well in this game. Now Kiara Pierre to serve. And that's into the net. Play best out of five sets. Terriers won the first. 
Neil A. Crusoe, Chris Freitag with you from St. Francis Prep. As Ooh. Caroline Gorecki. Get her the ball! You said that before, I tell you, Gorecki is playing a very good match so far. I know I said it before, I like to repeat <laughs> myself. I love the sound of my own voice, in case you people haven't noticed. Hey, that's why I asked you to be on air. <laughs> that's true. Good judgment. McCalla, LaForgia, and there, Riva De Niro with the kill. And Ooh. she's looking good. The uh, Lady Terriers up 12 to five. Jacqueline LaForgia back to serve. And they oh, will call that in. That. Very good crowd on hand. We have a lot of students here. Parents, of course. We have such lovely parents of the children at St. Francis Prep. They're all such nice people. I always see your parents at the game. At your games, of oh, course. Oh, yeah, my parents aren't here. As Jacqueline LaForgia with a spike and a kill. And Jacqueline LaForgia having a very good match. The junior here at the prep. And she's been consistent going into the timeout. Let's look at the SFP TV Sports schedule. Our next broadcast will be on October 5th at 5 p.m. As Christ the King will be visiting the Lady Terriers. So you can tune in at 5 p.m. on stfrancisprep.org. That's stfrancisprep.org. Our broadcast for October 2nd was canceled, but a lot going on that day. I was St. Francis Prep playing Font Bon, and gymnastics will be going on as well. So if you want to come to the prep on October 2nd, 4.45 is the gymnastics start, and then 5.30 will be the start of the Lady Terriers game on October 2nd. Our next broadcast October 5th at 5 p.m. Gymnastics was never something that I ever ended, tried to go into because I have the flexibility <laughs> of an 80-year-old man. So, that's you why I play You're telling like me I can't, volleyball. I can barely touch my toes, Chris. I don't think I've touched my toes in my entire life, <laughs> even when they were two inches away from yeah. my hands. Boom. Tell you though, I have a lot of respect for what those gymnasts do, especially if you watch the Olympics and you watch what the Fierce Five did. I mean, that is, the way they can contort their body is pretty amazing as the Lady Terriers will get that point. Yeah, just, some of it just looks unhealthy, man. Man. Ooh. Yeah, I know. The <laughs> the vault, you got the four exercise, which okay is like dancing, and then you got some weird wacky stuff with the bars and wow. I mean they had practice going on before and that team got I gotta tell you, you gotta be in really uh really excellent shape. I mean I don't know how they do it. Ooh, good serve. The serve right on the line. Have you ever gone to a gymnastics mat, uh, meet before? Uh, no, I usually have stuff to do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Usually here for many other activities here at the prep. The largest private Catholic high school in the United States. Johari Riva De Niro from the left side. So fun hearing you say her name. Oh, yep. from the back. Ooh. And out of bounds, Lady Terriers up 17 to 5. You know what I love saying the most? Freight Tay Fries. Oh, I bet you do, Neil. <laughs> I bet you do. You need to get out a little bit more, bro. <laughs> yeah, but as you were talking about dominance yeah. earlier, you want dominance, man? Look no further than the scoreboard right now, man. They are putting a whooping on the Mary on the Hilltoppers right now. I was gonna say Mary Lou yeah. Toppers. <laughs> There's no such thing as the Mary Lou Toppers. <laughs> A dig, and the Hilltoppers get across, 17-5, and that gets down on the Lady Terriers, dominating the second set. They won the first 25-18, and this second set, they are on a roll. Putting some work in. We have some good-looking girls at St. Francis Prep, I, I must say. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take a shout do, out do to all the to lovely look? ladies in the crowd today. Thank you. All right, Chris. Thank you. That's the best I'm going to do for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> like I was going to catch score up. Score is 18 to 6. I don't want to get into a conversation about that on air, though. Pertab doesn't. Pertab thinks he's funny over there, but he's not. Neither is Tom Takachowski. <laughs> 
And Riva Danera with the kill off of the net. And the Lady Terriers dominating this game against the Hilltoppers. Look at him. He looks like a big Lithuanian Barney the Dinosaur <laughs> with that purple shirt on. Take the shirt off. Hey, I got a purple tie on. <laughs> You look good in purple. Tom, okay. Tom, Tom is definitely not a, Tom's not a purple guy. It doesn't bring out his eyes. Boom. All right, now the Hilltoppers on the offense. And that is in the Lady Terriers up by a heck of a lot. They're up 20 to six by 14. This is what we like to call a blowout. Well, in the second set it is. Definitely Lady Terriers, you talked about momentum before, the Lady Terriers have momentum. And a block by Kelly Flynn. It's called a wall, and I don't think she was getting past it. Honestly, you can see so many different players getting involved today. It's not just one player like Kelly Flynn, it's a whole mix of them. stuff you work on in practice. That's just instinct, really. Yeah. I mean, if you have really horrible reflexes, it's hard to learn how to do that. Happened to me a lot. I do not have good reflexes whatsoever. The whole toppers get it over. Good up, good up. Boom. And Kelly Flynn is deflecting the whole toppers get control. Set, and Kelly Flynn Blocked and that lands right on the line. Yeah. So the Hilltoppers get a point back and they seeming, seemingly catching up with the late Terriers. The last few points it's starting to look good. Mary Lewis called a SWAT team because that got out of here faster than up. I really don't know what to compare that to. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Well, There's not many things that popped into my head that were that fast. <laughs> Looking on the sideline right now, head coach Kevin Colucci is a little flabbergasted at this point with the way they played the last few points. And Kelly Flynn misses that spike, just deflected off the top of the net. It's because he understands that there's going to be runs in volleyball. You're not going to get all the bounces of the ball. I mean, I don't think he's angry, but I don't think he's happy, obviously. The fact of the matter is, I mean, he expects the best out of the girls every single play. Like that was and an there, awesome Kelly play. And Flynn delivered it well. A spike off in the net, and she records another kill. UPS couldn't have delivered that better. <laughs> that was that was going. <laughs> I even got thrown out. <laughs> the Lady Terriers got their logistics down as the Hilltoppers. Deliver that over, and oh, Jacqueline LaFortia not getting on top of that ball. She's been mostly consistent today. Not enough top spin. But not on top of that one in the last play. Not enough top spin. LaFortia set. Billy Flynn into the net. Now LaFortia. Set the spike. Good up. Riva De Niro with the dig. Wham. And that is deflected and a kill for Jacqueline LaFortune. Wham. That's my scoring sound, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's from basketball. Don't 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 badger me. And here Kelly's playing and set to deliver an next Lady Terrier serve. Before you have a monstrous kill right oh. down the line, and LaForgia has been on point. When you look in the dictionary of volleyball to see what a line shot looks like, that is the perfect example. Hi, I'm Haley McCoolis. Do you want to show your prep spirit? Well, stop by the SFP bookstore and check out our wide selection of shirts, hoodies, 
pajama pants, fleeces, and now scarves. You can't stop by the bookstore? Well, please visit our website at www.sfponline.org and click onto the prep shop link. Here, other gift ideas can be found, including SFP golf balls and baby t-shirts for future terriers. Remember, the St. Francis Prep Bookstore, we're not just books. Hi, I'm Nelia Caruso. To keep abreast of the neighborhood news, read all about it in the Queen's Courier, our media sponsor. Pick up a copy at your local CVS, supermarkets, and the Blue Bay Knife. Look for your picture and stories about us here at the Prep. Visit the Queen's Courier at www.queenscourier.com or see their digital edition. If you want a bargain, check out their Deal of the Day specials. The Queen's Courier, your neighborhood newspaper. Pick it up every week. Back here at St. Francis Prep, and Olivia Terrier is rolling along. They won the first set 25 to 18, and the second set 25 to 11. So, you know, a great match so far for St. Francis Prep, dominating, especially in that second set. And they're just getting their spikes down. Oh, see Kelly Clements a couple, but really bounce back. More mistakes on the Mary Lewis side than St. Francis. I mean, yeah, especially on a high school level, I mean, the team that does not make a lot of mistakes is going to win. Yep. That's the fact of the matter. Every time you walk in, volleyball is a game where there's going to be runs, there's going to be stuff. You have to be able to control what happens on your side of the court. And if you are not controlling what's going on on your side of the court, you're not going to win games. And Jacqueline LaForgia looked superb in that last set. And right down the line, getting that kill that clinched the second. Really, she's looking good and taking Obviously taking a very big role on this team, along with Caroline Malone, and Jacqueline looks pretty good. That hit was filthy. There's nothing else to say yeah. about that. I mean, there's guys in our league who can't even do that, and they're six foot five and athletic and jumping out of the building, and they can't even do that. That was a sick shot. And also, I mean, she's not extremely tall, no. but the fact that she could get up on no. the net, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's crucial. It's all about working hard. If you work hard, good things will come. Tara O'Rourke is now in the game. She's going to start the third set as the libero in the white jersey. And Tara, it's her. checking in. First time. And Tara uh, also playing softball. And she's a very good athlete. So she's getting her time to check in with the Lady Terriers. And it's going to be Tara O'Rourke, Jacqueline LaForgia, here. Yep. As well as Kendra McCalla down low. Yep. St. Francis Prep is doing work right now. There's nothing else to say. Oh, I agree. The St. Francis Prep bench is so energetic. I just love looking at their faces and <laughs> seeing how dedicated they are to the cause. And the third set underway. The Hilltoppers get it over. Riva Danera with the kill for the Lady Terriers. They get their first point in the third. Like, Caitlin Slyke has such good enthusiasm right now on the bench. <laughs> She's just... A shining light on her team right now. I just want to keep your eyes on the court, big guy. What? <laughs> As Kendra McCalla will serve for St. Francis. Good serve. Good up. Boom. Kelly Woo! Flynn. That ball hit her hand and dropped on the floor within a second. And the Lady Turingers have all the momentum in the world right now. Don't put it over on her side, because it's coming right back at you 10 times faster. Whoa. Flynn, who has Shut dedicated up. herself to ladies volleyball, and Again. she uh. is so key for this team in succeeding as she directs that ball 
to the left side and it gets the Lady Terriers rolling along. That's a high volleyball IQ, able to place the ball in a great spot like yeah. that. Nothing else to say. That's a Freight Day Fraser moment. <laughs> if that's what you like to call it, Neil, I guess that's hey. what you can call it. As LaForcia and oh, Pierre no, down the no, line, no. and they call it just now. They may have been out just by a hair. But there was one call that the referees missed, and that was either in the first or second set. Can't recall when, but it was right on the line as we hit that. Oh. And the referees just thought I missed that. Kelly Flynn does it again. Kiara tried to say anything you can do, I can do better to Jacqueline LaForgia, but she came so close, yet so very, very, very far. And Jari Riva De Niro will serve for St. Francis. I'm liking the terms, Chris. What can I say? I'm a witty child. <laughs> In the broadcasting lingo down as Riva De Niro delivers that. Again. McCalla to Flint. Feed the horse. Oh, good up. The bump goes to Pierre. Good up. Riva De Niro set McCalla. Now Pierre down the oh, line. Right and the Hilltoppers cannot control it. And the Lady Terriers looking good, and they're threatening to sweep them in three sets. The Lady Terriers are always looking good. Look at these beautiful women out there on the court and on the bench. Well, there's nothing else to say about them. Four-point lead for the Lady Terriers. Ruben De Niro from the back line. And she gets the ace. Ruben De Niro getting in there in every minute. <laughs> What do you want to be a cheerleader? We got to pick up on their cheers, Neil. Come on, we got to coincide. You you do what you like. I don't know if I'm going to back you on that one. All right, maybe, maybe once. But Riva De Niro serving up. well. Woo. And Kelly Flynn making sure she's not called for a carry. She's Has an animal. <laughs> That's what happens when my voice gets raspy. I, I hit puberty a while ago, guys. Sorry. <laughs> 7 to 1, uh, Riva De Niro. And that's out. Gotta tell you though, Chris, good day to start, me and you. It's gonna be a fun season. I think we're off to a good start. Definitely. I'm I know you're not wearing a suit like me, but I, like, I do like that sweater though. No, no, no. My gift card from the men's warehouse comes next week, so. <laughs> oh, really? Hopefully next time I'll be in a blazer. Well, <laughs> I like to see that, Chris, as Kelly Flynn gets the kill. And she was funny, we were, we, well, we had a fine lunch period today, but. You were, uh... We had a very enjoyable lunch period, yes. Yeah, that was very interesting today, but you were, uh... Telling me that I gotta take you shopping at Men's Warehouse. You do, so you, you do, you do. Suit. I have to say your name and get 15% off. Come on, man. <laughs> oh. As the ball ricochets behind us. See, now, now you know, when you when you hit a kill like that from the other side, that's what happens to us. When I'm hitting a kill, I don't really care about your well-being, Neil. As much, <laughs> as, much as, I, hey. as much as I hate to say it, as much as a good friend you are to me, <laughs> when I'm on the court, the only thing that matters to me is winning. So. Hey, just win, baby, win, right? As Riva De Niro doesn't get the height on that ball. Did you just steal that quote from DJ Khaled? No, I didn't. Actually. Just win, baby, win? No, I didn't is steal all, from All you do is win? All I do is win no matter what. But, no, actually... Um, I wanted to make that clear. Long time Oakland Raiders in the NFL owner would say win baby win yes was his key line passed away about a year ago very shame speaking in the nfl shame. the new york football giants in action tonight you're a giant fan or a jets fan i am a new york giant fan i bleed blue sounds good they had a big week last week being the bucks eli manning with over 500 yards with three interceptions in the first half and today they go up against the Panthers on national TV and looking forward to watching that later. But right now the Lady Terriers taking care of business up seven points in the third. Cam Newton. Hey, that guy is, has some talent, but we'll see, we'll see how he could go against the Giants pass rush. Really the pass rush of the Giants though hasn't been, hasn't been that great in the first two games. If I were a quarterback going against the New York Giants pass rush, I think I would just fall down on the field and cry. <laughs> well. Because you're not, you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit hard. You know what's funny is that 
Eni Erzuman, who calls games with me in the spring during the men's volleyball games. He's on the St. Francis Brett football team. We, uh, <laughs> I call them JPP in reference to Jason Pierre Paul. Last game last Saturday, got a sack for the Terriers as they got their first win. So the football team doing well at play St. John the Baptist this weekend. They better win. Well, it's gonna be a good game. St. John the Baptist is a very good team. From what I hear, as Jacqueline LaForgia, who has been on point today, serves. Good up. Oh, somebody gotta play it. All right. Hilltoppers control it on their side. It's tipped at the net. One of the things that's hindering the Hilltoppers right now is that none of their outside or right side hitters is able to hit down the line. They're all hitting cross court, and St. Francis Prep is able to pick up on that and begin to shift their blockers over, anticipating the cross court hit. Stephanie Sokolich seeing minutes, got her first kill of the of the game, and gotta tell you, Stephanie Sokolich looks good too. She's going to she plays a big role on this team this year. And you know, seeing her first minutes on varsity, but uh, brought up from JV for a reason, and she's definitely an asset to Coach Colucci. All these roles, I feel like I'm in a bakery. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. He's got jokes, but Lady Terriers, as you see, get out of the huddle. Some of these players on this varsity team has experience, and Coach Colucci using his bench wisely as much as he can. Uh, Jacqueline LaForgia getting the start, and she has been huge for this team. Yep. Ah, yeah. LaForgia <gasps> behind awesome. the back line. LaForgia comes in, gets the bump down. Yeah. Nicole Tong. Oh. And that is in for a kill. If she meant to do that, that was an awesome play. But, I mean, you know, sometimes things just work out. 22. LaForgia behind the back line. Up 10 points in the third. And that is out. Too much muscle. She's been hitting the gym too much, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Well, definitely put a lot of air under that one. Riva De Nero, Nicole Tong. Double touch Cole. Looks like Mary Lewis just wants to get out of here as soon as possible. Well, at this point, I mean, St. Mary's Prep just owning them on the court. It's not over until it's over, Neil. Well, I agree. We're in the third. Go, Neil A. Crusoe and Chris Franktag with you. As uh, Tara O'Rourke with the serve. Why are you talking to her when she's serving? I didn't say I a word to her. her I did not say a word to Tara. She, she saw your face and she was like, I can't serve now. She saw my face. <laughs> wow, thank you, Neil. <laughs> what, 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 what was the reason behind seeing my face? Was it because it was so good looking or was it because there was a problem with my face? Please <laughs> well, elaborate. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Chris. But Kelly Flynn. <laughs> you know why I love Kelly Flynn's reaction after that? Because she gets to kill. And she's just like, you know, joke cool about it. When you're that Not good, so it doesn't really phase you when you do something yeah. good. And that's just what she does. And there's a reason why she's down low, starting for the late Terriers, 16-6. It's, so, it's so awesome how the girls can ha have so much fun while winning yeah. at the same time. I mean, that's what, it, that's what the sport's all about, being able to win and being able to have fun. Boom. Kelly Flynn and Nicole Tong pair up for a block assist. Lee Terriers are owning the Hilltoppers at this point. St. Francis Prep is putting up a wall every time, and I mean, they're not going to be able to get past it. Good serve. Set. Out. And that'll sell out. They're just not getting on top of the ball. The Hilltoppers are having a lot of problems right now, and they need to solve them quick because the clock is about to strike 12. Timeout called. It's 18 to 6. Following this game, the Lady Terriers will go against their arch rival, the Archbishop Malloy Stanners, and the Stanners 
have given them trouble in the past, and that's going to be a key team to beat. Yep. Every game is a key game for St. Francis Prep to win. Anything well, less. And yes, and especially Malloy because Malloy they beat in the championship game last year, but they lost them on senior night. And, you know, both teams have a tremendous amount of talent. Malloy trying to take back the reins in the Brooklyn Queens. They have a very good team. They, they end up beating most of their competition. But when they play St. Francis Prep, it's always a battle. You can bet your bottom dollar that Malloy is definitely trying to pull back the reins, but St. Francis Prep is not willing to loosen up even the slightest grip on those reins. They're planning on being the powerhouse in this league for the next 20 years to come. The five-time reigning Brooklyn and Queens champions. And they're going for their sixth straight this season. Winning is awesome. It's new done. With the serve. Looks like I'm gonna eat dinner tonight. <laughs> Whew, Why man. is that, Chris? What? You hungry? I'm so hungry. <laughs> I mean, we did not get the pizza beforehand because oh. Aaron would not get me a slice. <laughs> but I mean, I, I I I I persevered. What can I say? Persevering. Well, and thank our SFP TV Sports staff doing a great job with all the camera work and everything, putting us on the air. Awesome, awesome job, making me look good. <laughs> Chris Freitag's first game, and uh, Chris is gonna be a fun season, working alongside you, and you know, one of the reasons why I had Chris come on was, obviously he's on the men's volleyball team, but uh, you know, a good friend of mine, and obviously, you could talk. <laughs> I. I can talk. I haven't been. I've been told that a lot. Well, yeah, definitely, especially in uh, Mr. Brian's class. And uh, I don't talk in Mr. Brian's no, I class. Know, but Mr. Brian scares me. That's a cool class, actually. That is a very cool class. Very interesting. The whole Gothic literature thing. Very interested to see where this book goes. The Pillow Man. Very good book. Yes. You can find it at your local Barnes and Noble <laughs> or Bordeaux bookstore. Had to get a cheap right, plug in there. You're not a sponsor, Chris. Well, now they might be. They might be now. <laughs> Call them up. They could be the five guys in the background. <laughs> that, that was a funny one, too. Was, that was a great uh, one. It's McLaughlin. Basketball camp. <laughs> you want to take that story, that's fine. As Jory Rima De Niro will serve. The service me. Watch, watch. serving seven. Yes! But once the serve was for me, it didn't Ruben go Dinero into the net. with the dig. Nicole Tong and the Southpaw O'Rourke into the net. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, a perfect position. It was just a flub. It happens. No one's perfect. Don't worry, Tara. 28. Oh. Riva Dinero can't pick that one up. And then there was five. Nine serving 20. Oh. And the lady Terry's struggling a little bit. Yep. Freite signaling the lack of communication on their side of the net. Got to talk. This isn't a library. <laughs> this isn't a library. It's very true. You're not going to get in trouble for talking, guys. You can speak to each other. I hope yeah. you're all friends by now. Communication is so key. Especially in volleyball, really Again. in any sport. As LaForgia trying to top off when she started. Oh! Gotta and tighten up that block. Gotta tighten up that block. Jumped out the window. The outside jumped out the window. Then Kelly got there expecting someone to be on the left side of her. If someone's there on the left side, that's a double block. If that's a point for prep. We're that much closer to going home. O'Rourke. Nicole Tong and Jacqueline LaForcia. Lock and load, baby. LaForcia has yeah. really shown me something today. Ah. That she, over the summer, she must have gotten so much better. Obviously, putting the time in, you could just tell that uh, whatever she did to get ready for the season is paying off, and Jacqueline LaForcia is making a difference on the court. Of course, right it's now. hard work and mature, but maturity plays a big part in it too. Just yeah. the fact of getting older. Going from your sophomore to junior year, you make a very, very big leap, physically and mentally. Yeah. And that obviously has to be influencing the way she's been playing lately. Kelly Flynn to serve. 
21 serving 12. And that's out. The Hilltoppers. Yes. <laughs> the Lady Turniers are up by nine. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. well, Mr. C's got to <laughs> do yes. It'll catch on. It'll catch on. Don't worry. <laughs> starting a trend. Definitely we started that trend with basketball camp and the Summer Academy. Two yeah. programs that St. Mary's Park runs in the summer. Summer Academy and Enrichment Program. And basketball camp, obviously, for basketball for uh, the younger kids in grammar school. You can't touch the net. That is bad. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world. When you touch the net, everyone just looks at you, and it's just very awkward. I know yeah. how it feels. I touch the net all the time <laughs> my first few years. I was that guy. Never be that guy. Never be that guy. It's like the guy who doesn't shower after gym. <laughs> Never be that guy. Always bring deodorant or something. Life lessons from Chris right there. <laughs> well, I guess you learn from experience as the Lady Church I knew cap off. A great day. I always smell good. Old Spice Swagger. <laughs> Available at hey, your local CVS too. or Stop and Shop right. or your local pharmaceutical. <laughs> Another cheap plug. Trying to, trying to pull some sponsors. We're today. getting a lot of sponsors, man. I'm just racking up the bills. Racking up the bills. Making it rain. Let's go, Jacqueline. End it. LaFortune Jr. at the prep. Two points to go for the late to win this match. And she has had... A fantastic match trying to cap off her great day. Uh, no. When you play the first ball like that, it's never going to end well. Never, ever, ever. LaForgia with a match point. And Nicole Tong. LaForgia sets for the Johari River De Niro. The old toppers. Nicole Tong, River De Niro. Good up. That's into the net. The Lady Terriers win in three sets. 25 14 the score in the third. The Lady Terriers victorious. They played excellent. We're going to come back and talk about it here at the prep in the Queen. No, we're gonna come back at these messages from SFPTV Sports. Yeah, yo, we're going on. Back here at St. Francis Press so the first set, the Lady Terriers win 25 to 18 in the second, 25 to 11, and in the third, 25 to 14. So, Chris, the Lady Terriers dominated all around. What, what do you think was your strength today? The strength? I mean, there wasn't very much weaknesses on the yeah. part of St. Francis Prep. They were able to keep the ball up on their side. They played the ball extremely cleanly. They did not make mistakes, which is always a very, very, very crucial part of the game of volleyball. And when it, when it counted most, they were able to put the ball away. And when you're able to put the ball away at a weight rate like that, good things are going to happen. The Hilltoppers made a lot of mistakes today. And you know one of the key ones was misjudging the set or the bump. And that really had a detrimental effect on their side. Yeah, they seem like a young team. I mean, St. Yeah. Francis Prep obviously had an experience and a hype factor over them. And... Uh, I mean, they're, they're going to get better. St. Francis is going to get better. I mean, obviously, when they play later in the season, it's going to be a better game, hopefully. And uh, both teams have a lot to learn from this game. The real bright spot for St. Francis, Jacqueline LaForge, who recorded 10 kills today. She looked excellent. A couple of down-the-line spikes awesome. that went in, and she was really just on point today. Yep. They're, when you're on, you're on. There's yeah. nothing else to say. And she's only a junior, but she's got a good amount of height, and she really made a difference up in the net. You could really see a big difference
from last season. Also, Johari Riva Danera, four kills and five digs, and Johari was also made a big difference for the late Terriers. Yeah, I mean, uh, the of course, the players on prep, Kelly Flynn made a big difference, Kiara, uh, Caroline, but I mean, you have to think the girls on the court made such a great job out there. Uh, Mr. Colucci did an awesome job coaching, so did the assistant coach, Steph Ran. Then you coaching, also man. have to give great credit to the bench for being so enthusiastic. A team can only do well as long as everyone in, as long as everyone in the team succeeds. Right. You're only as strong as your weakest player. That's something that you have to live by, and that's what St. Francis Pep was able to do and get the W. So in front of a, in front of a big crowd on hand at St. Francis Prep and Fresh Meadows, they won the first set 25-18, second set 25-11, and third set 25-14. They beat Mary Lewis today in three sets, writing that down and putting that in the record books. They go on the 26th, they play their arch rival, the Archbishop Malloy Stanners, on the 26th at Malloy, and then the next home game is October 2nd. So they're away for a little bit, they have a tournament, and then They'll play Font Pond Hall Academy. We won't have that broadcast here. A lot going on uh, in the gym, a gymnastics meet going on, uh, and obviously the volleyball. So if you want to come, then come along for that. Also, St. Francis Prep next broadcast here will be on October 5th at 5 p.m. Another Brooklyn Queens Division One Leeds volleyball matchup as Christy King comes here to St. Francis Prep. It'll be Christy King, Lady Royals against the St. Francis Prep Lady Terriers October 5th. Log on here, stfrancisprep.org, and view that match. With a wonderful crew at St. Francis Prep in Fresh Meadows, Neil A. Crusoe and Chris Freitag with you from St. Francis Prep. Have a good night. We'll see you on October 5th. Deuces. All right. It's yeah. like, oh, cut it, cut it. Okay, we got it. We got it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, you ever you ever seen Hancock? Yeah. Where where it's like, good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good, good job. Good job. <laughs> Me and my dad do all the time. Yo, good job. <laughs> good job, man. Good job. And it's like, no, Hancock, you, good job. <laughs> that was excellent. Awesome. Good job, bro. What can I say? What can I say? We have that chemistry. <laughs> we have, exactly. Yo, bye bye. This is the case. 